Today we'll solve a question which I have previously solved, but then that solution was fairly elaborate and comprehensive and rather too long. We'll discuss a shorter method to solve the question today. Now the question was, consider the parabolas y minus 2 whole square equals 4x minus 2 and x minus 2 whole square equals 4y minus 2 and let s be the largest circle touching the two parabolas internally in the bounded region, find the center and radius of the circle. We have already drawn the two parabolas. This pink parabola is x minus 2 whole square equals 4y minus 2 and this parabola in blue is y minus whole square equals 4x minus 2 and we have to find center and radius of this largest circle touching the two parabolas internally in the bounded region. Now in order to simplify the problem, what we'll do is we'll shift the origin and we'll let capital X as X minus 2 and capital Y as Y minus 2. So now our two equations are capital Y square equals 4X and capital X square equals 4Y which are standard equations. So basically we have shifted the origin to 2 comma 2 and now this is our new origin and the equation we have is y square equals 4x and x square equals 4y. We need to find center and radius of this circle. Now if we solve these two equations, we already know their point of intersections are 0, 0 and 4, 4 and y square equals 4x and x square equals 4y. They are inverse image of each other. So basically, they are reflection of each other about y is equal to x line. So the two parabolas, the reflection of each other about y equals x line. From symmetry, we can say that center of the circle, it will lie on this line. And suppose the center is h comma h. Now, if this circle is the largest circle, then what it will do is it will touch the two parabolas at the end point of diameter. So, these point of contacts, say A and B, they will be end points of diameter. Now, suppose this A is x1 comma y1, then from symmetry, this B, it will be y1 comma x1. It's just reflection of it about y equals x line. And since AB is diameter, that means tangent at A will be parallel to this given line y equals x. So that means dy by dx at A, it must be equal to slope of this line y equals x, which is 1. This A, it lies on this curve, y square equals 4x. So we differentiate, we'll get 2y dy by dx and it is equal to 4. So dy by dx, it is equal to 2 upon y1 and this is equal to 1. So from here we can get y1 equals 2. Now if we put y1 as 2, we we'll get x1 as 1. So value of x1 is 1. So coordinate of this point A, it is 1 comma 2. And from symmetry, coordinate of this point B will be 2 comma 1. And center of this circle, say C, it is midpoint of AB. So this point C, it will be midpoint of AB, which is 2 plus 1 by 2. And that is 3 by 2. And here also will be 3 by 2. So center of the largest circle will lie at 3 by 2 comma 3 by 2. And we can find its radius also. Now radius of this circle, it is basically half of diameter, 1 by 2 AB. Now this is 1 by 2 and AB is under root of, now this is 2 minus 1 square 1 plus 1. So it will be simply 1 by root 2. So center of this circle, it will be at 3 by 2 comma 3 by 2 and its radius is 1 by root 2. But we need center of the circle for these two parabolas and not the standard parabolas. So what we will do is, we know capital X is 3 by 2 and capital Y is 3 by 2. 
So we'll replace x with x minus 2. So x minus 2 equals 3 by 2 and y minus 2 equals 3 by 2. So basically x is 7 by 2 and y is also 7 by 2. So center of the circle it will be at 7 by 2 and 7 by 2 and the radius of the circle will be 1 by root 2 and if we have to write equation of this circle as equation of this circle as it will be x minus 7 by 2 square plus y minus 7 by 2 square and is equal to 1 by 2 and that is the answer to this question. I'll provide the link to the lengthy solution in the description below.